My next guest I have not met, I have seen from afar, as they said. It was interesting. She was in the NBC commissary here a couple of weeks ago, and it was working on one of the shows in the building, I guess on, on Dom's show, Lots of Luck. And Mr. DeCordova, Mr. LaSalle, uh, looked across the room and said, Hey there! Uh, which they frequently do. And uh, her name is Suzanne Somers, S-O-M-E-R-S. -E she's a, an actress and a model, and she has also uh, written a book of, uh, of poems. And we thought you might like to meet this young lady, and I'd like to meet this young lady. Would you welcome Suzanne Somers? Come on. Come on, gentlemen, please. It's a young lady's first appearance on the show. Quit acting like a bunch of deviates. I was so paranoid that I was going to trip on that podium because I'm an ex-model, and I'm an ex-model because I twirled off the one runway. That's right, and you're never supposed to, to look down, are they, when you're walking along no, the runway? No, no, you walk straight ahead, but the reason that I'm an ex-model is because I fell off too many runways. Did you uh, take take some spells? <laughs> it's really humiliating, too, with the hair pieces, and you come up, and they're to the side, and you're kind of straight. It's not up. classy when you fall it's off. It's not. It really is not. Yeah. We haven't met. That's true, but no. you... Uh... I saw you that day. Yes, you were sitting... Uh having one of our wonderful dishes at the commissary <laughs> and taking oxygen at the same time. And, uh, yeah, I guess you were working Dom Deloise's show, right? Yes, yes. That was about the nicest <coughs> working experience I've ever had. He's yeah. a lovely, lovely man. Yeah, I, I was looking through your book today. Yes? You're quite, you write uh, nice and nice things. Thank you. Is this uh, something just recent or that you always wanted to do? Or? Uh, I mean, a poetry. Well, I, I did it for the money, you know. That's nice and honest. That's nice and honest for a change. No great love, I wanted a buck. Wouldn't that be refreshing if they said, why'd you make this movie? We wanted to make a buck. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, what have you done before? You've been on to various other shows. Yes, right? and uh, I thank Rex Reed because I was in American Graffiti for your nice plug. I played the mystery blonde in American Graffiti. In fact, I was going to when he said... <laughs> See, now, I have not seen American Graffiti yet, so I... Uh... Well, this, this girl that I... Oh, don't played... give me one of those things, uh, Rex, like I don't get around. Rex goes, eh, the klutz. <laughs> I'll see it. Now, th this part that I played is a, a blonde lady that, that uh, the, the central character looks for the entire evening. And she is so unattainable. He never gets right. her. So I was going to come out tonight with a brown paper bag over my head just to keep her <laughs> completely unattainable. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's, that's a good yeah. credit to be in a picture like that. Yeah. And you've yeah, done... the reason I got is because I drive well. I mean, I drove all night. Yeah. Picture. <laughs> that was one of the main questions. I've never been asked that on a, a dramatic interview. Can you drive? And I said, It's not a I question drive? that normally comes up. <laughs> I mean, right. you figure everybody can drive. <laughs> That's right. What else have you done on television? Uh, on television? Yeah. You done well, it? I'm very new. I'm just, yeah. I'm just starting. I did a series for two years called Man Trap where... Um, it was a women's lib talk type show yeah. where we were supposed to attack the male Oh, guests. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I remember we that. We taped that in British Columbia. That's right. There's somebody else who was on our show once who was going to do that show, and I'm trying to... Carol, Carol, Carol Wayne, Wayne, I think. Originally did the, the pilot, and then they had a cast of yeah. regulars. So I was... Where's home for you? Sausalito, California. Yeah, and you came to Hollywood just to say, I want to be an actress and get into this nutty business? Uh, I came to Hollywood to do lots of... I've been here one week. <laughs> That's all? <laughs> right. Our producers waste no time at all. That's right. <laughs> now, Mr. Reed, you see, could really give you more advice. He's uh, involved with a motion picture. How, what's the best way for this young lady to pursue her career? Uh, do you have any particular questions? Uh, no, but I'll be glad to discuss it with her after the show. I figured you would. <laughs> You know, so many people say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, you, uh, you, that, that brings up a point. You, now, you've read about, uh, I suppose, uh, about young girls coming to Hollywood and the, and the so-called, quote, casting couch and uh, oh, it, yes. that, that myth. I guess it's a myth. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Uh, but do you... I haven't been people... on a casting, casting couch yet. No, I didn't, uh, no, I didn't say uh, <laughs> yet. No. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slip. I didn't Do you find it a difficult town to uh, to navigate in it's, at all? I, I, and to I meet really people can't and say because I am... I you see truly, that new? The day that I saw you in the commissary, I said, where's John and Carson? Because that was my first day in an NBC studio or in any studio. That was the first time. I didn't know that. Yes. yes. But so far, things are, are going well. Yes. There. I That silly part in American Graffiti has just started me working. I wanted to write books. I wanted right? to, to write this book, and I just finished another book. 
And that was my career that I had set out for myself. Did you take uh, creative writing or something in school? Or? I went to a Catholic girls' school for 16 years. You did? That's very strict, isn't it? Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out! That's right. That's exactly how it was. Uh, very boring. Very this, boring. Is, this is very interesting. Would you like to do a, a couple of these little things? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, for us? The, um, you had one here that uh, I thought uh, was kind of interesting. Was this the... Uh, let's see. It's called, incidentally, Touch Me. This has to do with... It has to do with... with uh, see, my basic philosophy in this book is that people don't touch each other enough. And... That's always been my... Uh, <laughs> or they touch themselves too much. <laughs> uh, that's what they that's say. That's, you know... Uh, that was Onan's problem. He uh, right. grabbed a hold of himself and uh, fell in love. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, when you, when you say touching, you don't mean just physically touching. I you do, mean touch. I do mean physically. I, uh, the book deals with communicating, but I, I mean as far as touching a hand. Uh, you, you can say so much more when you're holding someone's hand. Like, I, I'm holding your hand right now. Right. And this means... <laughs> yes? I mean, this, this means mm -hmm. glad to meet you. Glad Doesn't to meet it? you. Now, no, now no, this. I'll show you. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll show you what means glad to meet you, Suzanne. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Yes, that's like a universal... I suppose when the first two men met each other, they went, hey! That's right, that's right. And, okay. and people are really afraid to touch, you know, I Especially was, men. That's right, I was thinking... In other that, countries, they're not. Men embrace, and they say, hello, how are you? And they, they, they hug and they kiss, and they don't feel it effeminate at all about it. But here, men do. The Italian culture, especially. Right. But I was thinking tonight of you and Ed. You've worked together for years, and you're obviously very good friends. Right. I've never seen you touch one another. Well, there's a... a <laughs> See, we had a problem once. Uh, no, no, I know it. I know. Take it on. You mean just... Take it on. <laughs> You're like a big bunny. No, I know what you mean. That's and true. You, and you would touch. an even bigger reaction in the comments. <laughs> oh, yes. That's right. No, you're right, though. And you, you would touch different people in many different ways. Like, I would touch Ed McMahon much differently than I would touch you. Yes. <laughs> well, I was going to say that I would touch Ed McMahon more like a favorite uncle. Uh, like, a, like, a, <laughs> like a favorite uncle. Yeah, I think uh, you're right, though. Didn't they have the therapy yeah. classes there? Were they uh, like at the, uh, what's the place in Southern California? Esalon. Where everybody, Esalon, where everybody... That's in Carmel, right. Yeah. Now, um, my book is not a sensitivity awareness type book. This mm -hmm. is communicating, and, and hopefully you've gotten through the fact that right. we can touch one another by the time we get into this. Come on, why don't you do one of those little... Uh... I would like to read one about beautiful girls because there's a, there's a myth that... Oh, we have a minute and a half here. Okay, in this spot. Can you do okay, it? Okay, yes, I can do it in 30 seconds. That beautiful girls um, have it so easy. Now, really, there's some assaults to being a beautiful girl. There are rules for beautiful girls to abide by. You must notice other women who are your snob, and you must let their men alone, because every worthwhile man belongs to someone. So men stand back in deference to their wives, and women stand back to watch their husbands. And only the boars step forward to tell interminable tales and get so close and so enthusiastic that little spitballs fleck your nose. And even the single guys who look special and exciting stand back and give way to the boars, figuring that a girl as beautiful as you are certainly wouldn't have any free time. But you do, lots of it, because there are rules for beautiful girls to abide by. Hey, that's very nice. Oh. <laughs> You ever get lonely? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't mean that facetiously. Everybody gets lonely when you're in a sure. crowd sometimes. Oh, sure. It's, I think especially in a crowd. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, is there time to show you the different ways you would touch people? Do we have a... Uh... No, sir. Oh. No, sir. What do you mean, no, there's not a way to show how we can touch? We all, we should end up touching tonight and have some kind of communication. We'll come back in touch. <laughs> <laughs>